my husband had never been on the Jungle Cruise, so we okay. took him on the Jungle Cruise. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And then we got off the Jungle Cruise. <laughs> He's um, never been on the Jungle. Cruise. Never been on the Jungle. Cruise. I, how re- does, I really how- enjoy. I was going to say, in general, how does Gregor feel about Disneyland? Does he, do you have to bring him up to your level? He it very sweetly loves it more because I love it. Yeah. If he were with someone who didn't love it as much, he wouldn't love it as much. Yeah. He doesn't love it as much as I do. Sure. But, he but loves it on your behalf. It's the way I feel about... It's actually the way I felt about the... um. Oh, that six-part series about the history of the Chicago Bulls in the early... Oh, sure. The Last Dance. (laughs) The Last Dance. Yeah. I watched it for him, and then I really actually liked it, but partially because, like, the Bulls in the early 90s is his childhood. Yeah, exactly. He's Michael Jordan's son. (laughs) Now, how's that? Is how's that, that being is, Michael Jordan's is, son? Miss, how's it being Michael Dor- Jordan's daughter? How is it being married into the Jordans? <sighs> I got to tell you, it's rough. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like a complicated family dynamic. <laughs> this was about, I was about. <laughs> I was just going to say, a la Jungle Cruise. Uh, the movie of it is very funny to me because they're taking a thing with no plot and being like, and here's the story of the Jungle Cruise. Yes. And I feel like there's a lot of space for that at Disneyland. Yes, absolutely. All right, kids, it's time for bed. Gather around so I can read you this story already. Get in here. Get into the book nook. Ugh, Mom, the book nook's so far away from the bedroom. Just come over to the book nook. I want to go to the bread room. No, I don't. Now's not the time for the bread room. You've already brushed your teeth. Come into the book nook. We have just a nibble of bread uh, before we go to bed. Chill out, sourdough. Children, you can't have bread after you brush your teeth. You'll have to brush your teeth again. But you're a baker, Mom, and you make so much wonderful I, bread. I, I, but it, it's time for... You know what? This is I'm not getting tricked into extending bedtime again for bread, okay? It's the book That's nook. about night scones? Just a quick little scone before we sleep. What about moon rolls? A moon roll will help me go nighty night. What about dream baguettes? Or snooze croissants? These are the nighttime baked goods we want. Just a little whole wheat I feel like a little whole wheat Would help me little go to sleep hmm. Could I have Just a little pumpernickel Just a little nickel of pumpernickel Would help my dreams be happy Could I Crunch that would help me sleep a bunch. It's bread time. We're saying the same thing. It's bread time. It's bed time. It's bed time. Close your eyes. No time. Kids settle for a book about bread. Mm, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pulling it off the shelf in our delightful book nook.